Hey everyone, uh, so I've just been using my hot air gun. Um, I was just shrinking some heat shrink, as you do, and I just finished up with it, and it was uh, still the, you know, the temperature of a dying sun, as these things get. Um, so I unplugged it, and I was just coiling the wire up to put it onto my shelf, and the bloody thing gave me a nip. I ended up with the plug with uh, my thumb between the two contacts, and I got a bloody nip off it, a little bugger. I hate getting electrocuted. Um, so, you know, what in it is doing that? Well, obviously there's a capacitor in it somewhere, so let's have a look. There it is. 0 0.1 microfarad, 250 volts. Thank you very much. Straight across the live and neutral. Lovely job. So when you pick it up, you get a bloody zap. I mean, oh, I'm annoyed. Why could, could they not put it after the switch? Because even if I just plug this in without turning on, that'll charge that capacitor up, ready to give me a bloody zap. Can they put it after the switch? So at least um, it only uh, only charges up when you switch it on, and when you switch it off, it's, uh, it disconnects the... Uh, disconnects it from the plug. Right, so if I uh, leave this in its off position, plug it in, switch the power on, unplug it, put that on there, That 190 volts is slowly dropping away, but if I did that even if I did that even quicker, there'd be close to 300 volts on there. I'm sure of it. Yeah. 310 volts on there. I guess it would depend when you actually unplugged it. What, whether at what point in the uh, the AC cycle you actually unplugged it, but evil. Right, stay safe folks, see you later.